Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to learn about the tail command. The counterpart of head. The tail command prints the last n number of lines of the given input file. When used without an option, it prints the last 10 lines of the specified file. If more than one file name is provided, then data from each file is preceded by its file name. Let's look at the syntax of the tail command. Tail space option space file name is the syntax. Let us consider a file states.txt which contains the name of all the Indian states. Without any option, the tail command will display only the last 10 lines of the file specified. Now, let us look at some of the options you can use with the tail command. The minus n, minus c, minus q, minus v and minus f are some of the options you can use with the tail command. Let's learn more about them. The minus n option prints the last num lines instead of last 10 line, where num is specified by the user. For example, tail space minus n space 3 space the file name will give us the last three lines of the file. The tail command also comes with a plus option. With this option, the tail command prints the data starting from specified line number of the file instead of end. For command tail minus n plus num space file name, data will start printing from line number num till end of the file specified. Let's see it on our system. So this is the input in the states.txt file. This command means that we start printing from line number 20 in the input. Next is the minus C option. The minus C option prints the last num bytes from the file specified. Note that new line is counted as a single character. So if tail print out a new line, it will count it as a byte. In this example, the last 6 bytes of the file states.txt is printed. Next is the minus "-v", option. By using this option, data from the specified file is preceded by its file name. As you can see, the first line contains the file name of the file. You can use the tail command with pipeline. For example, in this command, the output of the ls command is piped to the tail command which shows only the last three files. Let us see it on our system. First, let me show you the output of the ls-l command. Now, we can pipe this output to tail to get only the last three files. As you can see, only the last three lines of the ls-l command is printed. That's all for this video. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.